I was really mad today. Yesterday. I was really mad. Like, I have my own thoughts. And I receive thoughts that aren't my own. Like, another consciousness, which I believe is the Holy Spirit. And much of the time, I believe the Holy Spirit advises me to do some things I really don't want to do. As it seems, place me in the power of a person's, how could I say it? In an earthly view, place me in a disadvantage. How can I say this? Sometimes I feel like I am at a disadvantage when concerning certain people. If you understand what I mean by that. Yesterday I did something. You know, I was being courteous. I kind of knew <laughs> what was going to happen, but I was receiving thoughts, do it, do it anyway, like do it, pretty much. And I went there and I was not shocked because I believe I knew what was going to happen. So I went, I went somewhere else and I saw my enemy. And I was, I got angry. Like, I am not going to say everything, but like, my enemy should have like, contacted me, told me this or that, instead of not telling me anything. And I got so angry. And towards the end, later on that day, I believe he was acting like there was no issue between him and I, like And throughout the day, I believe I was receiving thoughts of, you know, if this happened to this person, would you help that person out? Stuff like that. And I believe I was thinking, why am I receiving these type of thoughts? Like, why, why should I even care? Like... <laughs> But I believe I was being tested. I guess to see if I was going to hold a grudge toward that person. Yesterday, I was hurt. I was angry and hurt. You make a deal with me. I'm patient with you. I do this for you, I do that for you. And pretty much I went the extra mile for that person and then toward the end, that person did whatever he did to me. Unless that man doesn't know what is going on. No, I believe he knows what is going on. Like, I was, I was so hurt. Do you know, like, have you ever gotten so angry, like you started to cry? Like, 
I was at that point, like, I think I was tearing up a bit. See, as a Christian, you can't get even with people. You can't curse them. Like, in Jesus' name, I curse you. You can't curse folks as a Christian. Which it is not, which it is not wise to curse people anyway. Because how can you curse and not get cursed for doing so? Reaping and sowing. So since I can't get revenge, like what can you do? I guess pray and probably cry about it, right? And I was so close to crying because I was frustrated, I guess. I was hurt. I believe um, as a man of God, Yes, I am a man of God. I believe God purposely sends certain types of people on my path for me to influence. So in order for me to be able to influence people, I think much of the time I have to take their mess. Much of the time. I have to take their attacks, I guess I can say, like like their attitudes and their ways and all that stuff. I have to take it most of the time. Yes, back in my past, I was rude. I was mean. I was hateful. I did people wrong so wrong so is this the reason why i go through this so much because how i treated people in my past maybe but as a man of god i believe god purposely sends me like people with attitudes towards my path like i was the one in their past that abused them or raped them or whatever else, I did not do that. Why take out that frustration or whatever that is on me when I am trying to help you? I am trying to tell you about God. Like I'm going out my way to do this for you do that for you but your anger is at me what am i doing anyways i was hurt yesterday i was angry i wanted to cry can you imagine that uncle kev wanting to cry you can call me a wimp i guess but hey, if I can't get revenge, if I can't go to his house and bust out his windows, if I can't beat him up and stuff like that, like what can I do but pray and perhaps cry about it? I was going to cry. I think I teared up. And earlier yesterday I was praying 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 like I was so mad man I was so mad so mad man like I did this I did that and you still did this you know and I waited for you and blah 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 And I kept on praying, <laughs> like maybe for an hour or maybe more because like I did not want to walk around angry. You know, I didn't want that anger to develop into something else. So I kept on praying. And after a while, I calmed down. 
and I believe I had it in my mind. I am going to ignore that person totally. I am not going to say anything back to that person, blah, 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 blah. I did it some, but something came to my mind. Something like, I forget exactly what it was. Something like, you don't have to act like the world does. For instance, if, like, I don't have to act like someone who doesn't know God, for instance, let's say, you know, if, if an atheist got wronged by a person, that person probably would, you know, be rude or do things that a Christian should not do. So, my enemy was calling my name and trying to get my attention. And I was thinking, I believe I was thinking that person has some nerve. Like, acting like, I think in the beginning, I believe that men knew there is a problem. But I guess he got bold because I did not approach him about the issue. You know, I text him. And he did not even bring it up and acted like everything is okay. But then towards the end, like he got really comfortable and start doing this and doing that look now i believe we all are going to reap what we sow yes yesterday i got hurt and angry you know i <laughs> i went the extra mile for for that person that person did not carry out what he told me he was going to do. He did not carry it out. He did not even make a plan with me about if he couldn't. We all are going to reap. See, I think some people <laughs> like, hey, you know, Kevin is peaceful, so I can get over on Kevin. I can take advantage of Kevin. Yes, to a certain extent, you can. You can. But the thing you may not be understanding or may not think of, I guess, God sees everything. One of the reasons, <laughs> only if you all knew how I was in in the past. I used to be a very, I used to be huge in getting revenge. Like, even if it took me months or a year, like, I would get you real good. Real good to where you wouldn't even know it, it was me. I was really huge in revenge, so huge. But I guess some people see me now and say, hey, that is Kevin there, you know, you know, Kevin is weak, you know, that man is not going to beat you up, and which is true, I am not going to fight you. I am not going to, you know, cause a big problem, I guess I can say. That is true. But if you purposely take advantage of me while I am trying to help you, what do you believe is going to happen to you? Aren't you going to reap what you sow? Am I saying I want that person to go through pain? No. I was praying to God yesterday for mercy on his behalf. 
I was praying for blessings on his behalf as well. Yes, I was mad. I was hurt. You know, I was a little confused. That man told me to a while back that he is a Christian. I tell you this here. I'll tell you this and I told my um, prayer and reading partner. If anyone else tells me they are a Christian, I don't think I am going to believe it until I see fruit of that person being a Christian. Because I think so many people are claiming to be Christian and they act just like the world. As it seems, I think I have more problems with so-called Christians than, I guess, people who confess to not believe in Jesus Christ. How is that? I can see why some people believe Christians are hypocrites. No, false Christians, I believe, are hypocrites. What you saw probably was not a real Christian. Yes, that person claimed to be Christian. I took his attitude. Like, <laughs> years ago, like, like, if that man would have given me 25% of what he given me, I would have, like, not messed with that person anymore. Like, don't talk to me no... Man, I would have cut that person off long ago. But, but, as I am now, I believe that person was sent on my path for a reason. Now, what exactly I believe I was there, I was supposed to influence that person. So, even though that person spoke to me in a very bad way, very bad way before, very bad, I took it. I think some people may say, Kevin, I want to get people. I want to win souls. I want people to serve Jesus Christ. Okay. You may have to run into people that have bad attitudes. So if you want to win souls, First, I believe you need so much patience. So much patience. For myself, I don't like being yelled at. I used to yell at people in my past. I don't like to be cursed at. Like, I don't curse. I don't, you know, usually I don't yell. I may raise my voice a little bit, which I try not to even do that, but treat me like the way I am treating you. But sometimes I may have to deal with people who yell and curse at me and, hey, Kevin, you are a fake Christian and because this and that, like, you don't even know me, man. <laughs> you don't even know me. <laughs> like, what have you seen to say I am a false Christian? Seriously. But, um, I tell you what, if you ever get really, really angry, you may have to do what I did yesterday. You may have to keep praying, keep praying, keep praying until that anger leaves you. 
because I think if that anger would have stayed with me, I probably like, man, my Lord, I probably would have felt worse or probably accepted so much negative thinking or like it would not have been good. I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, I I really tried to help that person. I really took a lot of mess from that person. Like how that person would yell at me as if I was like, as if I did him wrong while I am doing him a favor. Shocking. But, you know, I believe, let me say this too. Let me say this too. Anytime someone is doing you good and you are repaying a person's kindness with evil, you will get into trouble. Anytime when you pay a person's kindness, goodness, for with evil like hey kevin you are so kind to me let me give you some evil if you do that i believe you are going to get into trouble and you may say kevin how can you say this i believe i witnessed this more than one time for sure one time i think for sure one time Like a person was treating me in, I believe, a bad way. Maybe a week or two after that, that person got injured. Bad. Real bad. To where that person asked for my help. Now, how would you feel like you are treating a person in a mean way then later asking for that person's help look now i am not perfect i don't do everything right but let me try to do everything right because if life is already hard why make it more difficult by acting improperly right yes i may mess up i may think wrong i may say some things i should not say but let me try let me strive for perfection right let me if 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 i see bad things happening to people based upon how they behave from, I guess, what I perceive, if I am discerning correctly, why would I follow suit? Why would I go down that road when I know it is not going to be good for me? I have to be kind to my enemies. I have to be courteous. I can't do evil for evil. Whether I see that person get punished or not, I have to treat that person right even though he hurt me and made me very mad yesterday. Not only then, but other days, I believe he made me mad too. We have to be long-suffering. We have to be able to take pain and be patient and endure. Yes, ask God to take it away. We have to be able to move on. I hope this makes sense. Please learn from what I have been through. If you really want to win souls, I think so many people like, 
I think so many people say they want to do so much for God, but where is your fruit? Where are the attributes of the Holy Spirit within you? I believe to win souls, you need patience. Believe me, I have dealt with some people, man. And I would say you need so much patience. I think the more patience you have, I think the more souls you can win. But are you willing to go through so much mess with a person? I think that is the question. Like, are you ready to be cursed out and yelled at? Which I don't like that stuff, man. Don't curse at me like I'm some type of like pig or animal or something like that. Let me stop here. And God bless you.